Okay, so my top level skeleton has in it the coordinate systems that define the location of the main subcomponents. And if I look at the nacelle skel, it has in it a copy jam. I call these ECGs because that's what it calls them in the model tree, external copy jam. And so how is that created? That's this button right here. It's the copy jam button. If you click the copy jam button, you'll get a dialog that looks like looks like this, where you specify the reference model or the donor or the uh, uh, source of your copy data and what it is that you want to copy from it. Key element here for using a copy jam is these two buttons. This one allows you to open or point to the target. This one tells you how you want to orient the target and your source. Let's watch what I mean. So in this case, I'm in the nacelle scale, and so I want to copy into the nacelle scale the pertinent geometry from the top scale. And so I specify here the nacelle scale in my donor, which is, and I'll, I'll show it here. There's a nacelle coordinate system right down here. There's a nacelle 1 and a nacelle 2. One is pointing to the mirror side. And that is connected to the local coordinate system for the nacelle scale. And then I choose what I want to copy from it. I want to grab those four curves as well as the warp drive coordinate system because that'll help me develop the relationship between the nacelle and the warp drive, how they have to be um, joined together. Well, how the, I don't know, maybe bolted? <laughs> right? And so you might want to pick up the pertinent geometry for your particular, you know, in this case, we're picking up the information that's required to d further develop the nacelle. So it's got its own default coordinate system and then the geometry that comes from the source. Now again, this is all very local. So this has nothing to do with the, the main hull. It doesn't have anything to do with the, the, uh, the shuttle bay at all. Keeping my model size small, keeping the clutter to a minimum, keeping the planes relevant. See, the planes here are perfectly relevant to this particular subassembly, even if the angle were to change. All right? So what might go into a subscale? Well, the definition for what that geometry is. In this case, some sort of, uh, I don't know. From a design standpoint, you have authority to make it up as you go. Right? Don't you make stuff up as you go? And so what we're going to do is we're going to make stuff up as we go here. And um, In this case, I'm going to go to wireframe display now. So you can see that what I'm dis defining here is uh, what might be um, some uh, frames inside the cell, where the frames go, how many of them there might be, stuff like that. And in addition... You'll notice here, I'm defining what might be panels that are going to make up the sides. So this is what is going to be defined in the skeleton. The data in the skeleton, the, the information that you create in a skeleton, should be only information that is shared by two or more parts. And so in this case, the size of the panels, where the panels go, the size of the stringers and the frames, would be all perfect to put in your skeleton and then you would use that information to make your parts. Okay? Does that make sense? So now, watch this. Why is your 
the, uh, the original coordinate system is squared up and is exactly in the same location as the nacelle coordinate system of my top skeleton. Let's go back there. So why is this so nicely squared up? All right, now why is this so nicely squared up? And, and this, is, this is why. The nacelle coordinate system here is squared up to the geometry that makes up the definition of the nacelle. By definition. If I edit its definition, you'll see that it is, it's got its orientation, its X is lined up to that bottom of the nacelle, and its Z is perfectly lined up to um, out here, this curve. And so its Z is lined up, its X is lined up, that's why the default of the nacelle is so nicely squared up to the nacelle itself. Okay, and that that is one of the key confusions of copy jobs is how do you get that stuff squared up? And it all has everything to do with assembling your copy job, that that button we just talked about. And I, we'll do it again. So bear with me.